everyone, and welcome to Empires, a series with my friends where each of us will build up our very own empires and form alliances and enemies along the way. This season, we'll have brand new characters, a brand new world, and brand new stories. I can't wait to show you it all. Ah, a fresh new Minecraft world. This feels good, and we're in Minecraft 119! Wasn't me. As with every new world, the very first thing we must do is punch some wood. Let's do it. Our very first tool, the wooden pickaxe. All right, now let's go ahead and just get a little bit of cobblestone for a few tools to make this more efficient. Got an upgrade, heck yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, look, there's another player. Sausage. Hi, Sausage. Hello. What Hello. you doing? Uh I don't know. I am already. I'm already down three, th four hunger bars oh, and two no. hearts. I have no idea. You just running around? Yep. So sausage and I decided we would spend the first couple nights of Minecraft together, getting the first starting resources. Starting with caving. Look, there's iron. Oh my god! I don't even have stone tools yet. I'm so underprepared. Oh my god! Look at this big giant hole. Yeah. Should we jump down there? You jumping down there? Oh my god! You going yeah, down there? Yeah, okay. it's all good. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We're oh, brave adventurers. Look at this woman go. We got shears. We're good, we're saved. This. Oh my. Come here, sheep. Oh, I only got one wool. So lame. Oh, that is messed up. After getting enough wool, we were saved and could finally sleep through the night. And that's when Sausage had a fantastic idea. You know what? I got a I got a good mission for us in this in this beautiful beautiful day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sunny out. It's not raining. There's no bad guys out. We should try to get every single wood in the game. Every single one. Every single. All thing. of them. All the woods. So at least we have saplings. So we can have building material. So our empires will grow big and strong. And everyone's gonna be like, wow, these people got every wood in the game. I like that idea. I can see a bunch of woods here. We got oak. We got birch. We got acacia. We got jungle, and we got spruce. I, we it, just it, need. This is incredible. Just need dark oak and mangrove. And with that, we decided we would set off, going for the jungle wood and the spruce wood first, and then setting off on a mission to collect the rest as we searched for a mangrove swamp. Keep your eyes peeled, oh, sausage. Eyes peeled. Okay, all the way peeled. Uh, I can see great from far away. Great. You're asking the perfect person. I'm like an eagle. I can see everything. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I have constant night vision, I too. I see, do you see it? Are your eyes peeled? Stop lying. Are you see it for real? I can't see nothing. You see it? It's right <gasps> there. Oh, 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 I race you to it. Let's go. I race. Oh, God. Oh, <gasps> this place is pretty intense. <laughs> oh, my God. Gem, this is scary in there. There's tropical fish. Oh, look at Nemo. Oh, look at all the fish. Oh. Ah, oh, it's oh, yes. pretty. I love it. I love it. Oh, this is going to be very nice. Look at the frog. Oh. Wow, look. Ribbits. Oh, my goodness. Cuties. Little frogs. Oh, oh my God. Oh, froggy. Oh, oh froggy little baby. Frogs. Oh, you cutie. After fawning over the frogs for arguably way too long, we decided it was time to collect what we needed and move along. We found a couple of other things along the way, such as some dark oak wood, a ruined nether portal, and also a shipwreck. And then it was time to say goodbye. This is where we oh. part ways, sausage. Yes, we are gone. Listen, thank you for giving me stuff and for guiding me along my way and for not letting me die to weird things. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me. We got all the wood types. Oh, so this welcome. is epic. Here. We're like have, allies have some of this. now, right? Yeah. We're allies? Totally allies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Totally allies. We, you will not be the first one that I murder. Cool. That's good. I'm not murdering anybody, though. I'm a nice, sweet man. Right. Please get me out of this ice. It's very cold and it's going to be nighttime and we're going to die. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. This whole Frostwalker thing's pretty convenient. But you know what? There's actually something new in the game that could help me out a lot more with this problem. Look, it's an oak boat with a chest. This is the best day ever. Oh. <laughs> so now we can click on this and I can store away all of my saplings in here. And all my new wood types. Perfect. After parting ways with Sausage, I sailed all along the coast of the Empire's SMP server until I finally found a place that looked like it could be home. 
Whoa, look at this mountain! I think this might just be the perfect place to settle and build an empire. The sun is shining here, there's tons of animals, the mountains are tall, the flower fields are vast. I feel right at home here. I can't think of anything more perfect. Now you know the classic Minecraft ways, we claim things with a crafting table and a quick sign. Oh, and some furnaces. There we go. Well, I suppose now that I've picked out this glorious location for what is going to be an epic empire, I should get to work on the survival stuff. Such as chopping down some wood and getting a much better food source. So, I'm thinking we should start a quick little farm so that we can round up these animals. Let's see, we just need a quick stone hoe and some seeds. Perfect. If I had extra iron, I could make a bucket as well. I'm willing to bet along this stony shore somewhere, there's probably some iron exposed. Oh, and maybe even over here. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 here we go. Look at this. Perfect. Iron. And we'll have lots of coal as well. Maybe I'll save some of this for when we have fortune. Oh, <laughs> this is a spooky area. Hello. Um, yep. Sorry. <laughs> Monster hunter. Heck yeah. You know, it is kind of Oh! Oh, that hurts. That hurt. That didn't feel good. Yep. Yeah, I'll just be over here. Whoop! I'm fine. All is well. Nobody panic. Gonna go ahead and get my sugar cane started over here. And thankfully, we do have enough iron for a bucket. Hello, fishies! Yep. Sorry, I just need- I just need some food. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good day to start an empire, everyone. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put our very first wheat farmer right here by these bees. They'll be great helps with pollinating things and speeding up the process. There we go, a seedy place. Now, no eating the wheat, okay? I'll, I'll get some for you. I would love to get even more farms up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my boat out and see if there's any villages where we can find carrots, potato, and beetroot. Off we go, another adventure in the chest boat. I'm pretty sure there's a village just behind this mountain. There we go, there's the village. Hopefully the farmers here have some crops that they can share with me. Hello, potato, perfect, carrot. Okay, I, I won't take it all, but some potato and carrot is great, thank you. Oh, there's also even more pumpkins here. I love pumpkins. <gasps> and beetroot, perfect. Why are the villagers here mountain climbing? We may have to help this village. Not today though. Today, we're starting my empire. Hello, bees. I'm home. And I brought more food. Ah, oh, this is such a good start. Good start is such an understatement. There's just something so charming about the early game of Minecraft. I genuinely love it. I decided to breed up a few more animals, such as the bees, which are going to help me out greatly with these farms that I'm setting up. And then I started creating some animal pens to collect a bunch of different animals to have around. I'm sure these will come super in handy later on as wool and leather are very important. And I also gathered some pigs cause you know, they're cute. Of course, I couldn't resist a little bit of decorating of the farms and some more breeding of the bees. And after just a little bit more effort, we had an absolutely beautiful starter area. And I was super content. Oh, my potatoes are ready. Farming so far is going great. I've got tons of bees and crops. My empire has food and some preliminary protections with the terrain. This is great. I've noticed as I've been farming that up in the mountain up here, there appears to be a fair amount of iron hidden around. So what do you say we go on a little mountain climbing trip? Just in case there's any powdered snow, I'll make myself a little set of boots. And we can tie the boots, of course. There, those are pretty nice. Oh, uh, I better sleep. Me and the bees have the same bedtime. When that moon rises, we go to sleep. 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 There. Okay, off we go now to the mountains. Whoa, hey look, there's emeralds up there. And bunnies. Whoa, this is cool. Here we go, here's some iron for us. It'd be great if we could get a full set of tools. Whoa, look at my empire from up here. This is gonna be epic. Oh. I'm light as a rabbit. I will be taking some of that. 
That'd be a good trap for my enemies. Not that I have any enemies. I don't have any enemies. Yet. But I do have lots of iron. Look at this. Don't mind if I do. My pickaxe broke, so I'm gonna quickly smelt up some of my iron. Zombies, you leave me alone. Don't make yourselves the first enemy of my empire. It's a very cool empire. We're very brave. Mm-hmm. I didn't think so. All right. Iron pick. Perfect. I am so skilled. Gotta let them know, you know? <gasps> Look! There's goats! Hello, goats! It's nice to meet you! Okay, let's go ahead and smelt up all of this iron from the trip and feed the cows again. Hello, cows! There you go. Alright, now we can officially make our first piece of iron armor. Suit up. Perfect, perfect. And there we go. With that, we officially have a full set of armor. If you're ever wondering if I'm wearing armor or not when I look like this, we have a resource pack on that just makes the armor invisible. Now that things are up and running in the bee farm and the animal farm, I've got all of the wood types and we've got some beginning iron tools and armor. It's time to get a little bit more in the mood for empires. We need an outfit change, something that will suit this area of the server. Let me just uh, use this tree real quick. Now this is much better. Much more suited to this biome, right? I shall be the princess of this empire. I'm excited. Now, if I'm to be a good princess to these bees and these farms, I ought to build up this entire empire. We've gotta be strong. And well, strong starts with a starter house. At the moment, my belongings are scattered between here and the shore where we originally docked. Oh, my mangrove grew. Those are some really big trees. Cool. So here's the rest of my belongings in here. We don't have much, but we definitely have enough for a starter house. I get the feeling I should probably chop this down. There's so much tree! What the heck? Luckily, the mangrove wood is really pretty. Unluckily, it never seems to end. These mangrove trees also have these giant root structures that we will also have to get rid of. I think I got it all? Maybe? Oh, my sugar cane is ready. The next thing that I need in order to build a starter house is, well, something for the foundations. We need it to be strong. And at the moment, I only have 64 cobble. Luckily, with all of these mountains around here, we should have no trouble starting a mining operation somewhere. And I'm thinking this little area over here could be perfect, potentially. This cave is huge, but it appears to be a dead end at that aquifer. So I'm just gonna dig into the side of it over here and create a little mine shaft for me. This'll give us lots of stone for the start of my empire and a place to potentially mine later on. This is spooky. Oh, my first copper. My pickaxe has broken right as I've gone into this cave, but this is kind of the perfect starting point for mining. We've broken into a cave already. For now, let's head back up to the surface and get started with this cobblestone. I'm gonna go ahead and smelt a stack of this cobblestone so that we can have some smooth stone. As for the rest of this cobblestone, let's decide where my house should go. I feel like I want to be nearby the bees and my farm, so maybe just on sort of the edge of this hill over here could be perfect, potentially. I'm trying to figure out the layout of a starter base that would be the most interesting, and this feels correct somehow. I feel like these could be some really interesting foundation shapes. We'll have one building be like our storage room, and one building be our more functional room, and our bedroom where our bed is. Which, speaking of, it is nighttime. Gotta sleep, gotta sleep, gotta sleep! There we go, our stone is turned into stone bricks. This will be helpful for just adding a little bit of interest to these foundations. So we'll have the path coming around the animal pens here, around the farms, and eventually down here between the buildings. Yeah, I feel like I really like the flow of this. That could work. I've created a stone cutter to make this process hopefully a little bit easier. I'm thinking right here is going to be our entrance into the first building. I think this is a foundation worthy of any princess. 
as for the walls, we have quite a lot of blocks that we could work with, and I'm thinking a mixture of all of the wooden blocks that we collected with sausage would be perfect. And we could definitely use some more oak wood too. Essentially, my plan with this house was to just stack a bunch of starter houses on top of each other. So three basic A-frames basically, two of them overlapping, and one on the other side with a bridge. This would make a slightly more complex starter house with it still being very simple and easy in the early game. Oh, nah. -uh. You take your stare and eyebrows somewhere else. Who is your king or queen? Tell me. I just want to talk. Well, I guess it's time for a princess's first battle. No pillagers are welcome here. Oop. Dodge, dodge, dodge. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Got, got one. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We would you tactical retreat? Hold on. Get him. Get out of here. Jeez. Oh, hey, I got a new weapon. Cool. Oh, they're stragglers. Get out of here, you. Oh, my axe broke. I shot you with your own weapon. <laughs> oh, wow. I just got a lot of advancements. Look at me go. Heck yeah. Best princess of them all. I know it. World's strongest empire here. Nobody mess with me. The warning symbol. The starter house is coming along nicely, but I do think that this building here needs to be about one block higher so that it doesn't intercept this roof awkwardly. Just a quick adjustment is necessary, that's all. There we go, now it crosses smoothly over. Now that's a starter house if I've ever seen one. I suppose now is as good a time as any to talk about my goals for this season of Empires. Not only my goals, but also the theme of the builds that I'm going to be working on. Here you go, pig, some food. Wonderful. In my empire this season, we are going to theme the base around the sun. That's right, that sun right there that sets over the mountains and rises over the ocean, that is going to be the basis for the theme of my builds. Luckily for me, this area that I've picked out is absolutely perfect for this. We have sun-themed things everywhere. There's lots of orange flowers, yellow flowers, red flowers. There's lots of things that we can work with to really drive this theme home. I love this theme because I think it gives us a great opportunity to use a lot of blocks that I haven't really previously used, as well as these wonderful new blocks. I mean, look how fantastic these walls are going to look. And then all we're gonna do is bring in the roof. And we're gonna do that with some pumpkin for the bright orange, the honeycomb, and of course, then some yellow wool. I have to admit, I'm extremely excited to show off this color combination because I think it also goes really well with the mangrove, which ties in with the orange quite well, has a little hint of purple, and of course, some red. The multicolored roofs are going to make for such a key aspect of my empire. Bees, I need lots of honey, okay? One of the wood types that goes really well with this theme is actually acacia, which I'm excited for because I don't use this very often. We'll just plant a beautiful garden of acacia back here. Building out of big, bright gradients is one of my favorite things to get to do in Minecraft. So although I have worked with an orange and yellow gradient before, I'm very excited to be building on a larger scale this season to take those gradients even further. I feel like this theme is going to really help out my character and I'm so excited for how the starter house came out. Let me know what your thoughts are on the theme down below. Ta-da! A starter house fit for any princess, or at least this princess. I absolutely love how this thing turned out. Only thing it's missing now is a couple of more details, like some windows. I want the windows of this place to always remind me of the sun, so I just need to pick the perfect flower for this. This one will do. We'll make some yellow dye and some yellow stained glass. With how dark the walls are in this house, this should look so good together. We'll just plop some in here as well. Perfect. This house is looking perfect for a starter home for me. It's got tons of space. Only thing to do now is to actually move all of my things inside. And this room here will have my bedroom, a general work area, and then across here, I think we'll be able to pop some storage. 
I'm gonna try to go for a sort of aesthetic storage room with chests and barrels scattered throughout. We'll need a smoker in the kitchen, of course. This mangrove wood could actually make a pretty cool divider here. I kind of like that. Thank you, sheep. I just need some carpet. Of course, I had to install some ladders to get all the way up to our watchtower. And now we can see just about everything. I feel very princess-like right now. What the heck? Hello? Hello? Hi, oh, Flip. Hey! Hey, how are you doing up there? Why are you making so much noise? I have a very important question for you, Jem. Okay. Hi. Have you been to the end yet? What's that? Oh, uh, uh, the, you know, big dragon, fiery death thing, there's an egg in there, all that stuff. No, that doesn't sound like something that I've been doing. No, no, you haven't been to the end yet. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm just, uh, somebody went in and I'm trying to figure out who, so that's, that's oh. good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, hey, don't gotta oh. worry about me. Don't worry. No, no, no. How are you doing over here? It looks, looks quite nice. Looks quite nice. Thanks. Well, that was a weird visitor. On a brighter note, though, I think my house is finished. So, if we step inside the front door now, I have a kitchen area, a bedroom area, and if we come along up here, I've got my storage room, which just has all of the essentials, you know? All in all, I think this is a fine house for a princess. As princess of this empire, however, there are a few things that are still missing. As you can see, I've started working on this road that goes under the house here and towards the ocean, and this ocean is going to be very important to me. You see this tree here? This is our social tree. At the moment, we have zero enemies, which is good, and one alliance, which is not bad. Our current one alliance is with Sausage. We parted ways with Sausage at the... Uh, uh, why? 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 Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We parted ways with Sausage at the beginning of this episode in this vast ocean. And I've settled on this side of the ocean, and Sausage has settled way over the horizon over there. The perk of having alliances is we can trade our goods with each other. But at the moment, I don't really have anywhere that would be sufficient to trade. These chess boats here make the perfect way to trade things via the ocean. And we have this beautiful protected little bay in here. Since my house is up there, I feel like it would be a good idea to get a preliminary little port area right here. Eventually, this can be a bustling shipyard, but for now, it'll just be a chess boat. And that's okay, we like chess boats. So, we're just gonna shape the path all the way down along here. It's gonna be a nice and windy path. And just landing right about here. Okay, now it's just a matter of working out where exactly I want these docks to go. And I think I just want a couple of them sticking out, maybe separated by three, like so. Yeah, this would be cute, and it would give us lots of room to park the boats. Lined up with the center one here, I'm gonna go ahead and install a little staircase for us. I kinda wanna experiment with using some of these roots to look like supports under the dock. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Seems to blend in fairly well with the supports. I like it. On the edge of the dock here, I'd like to do a little display of things that I am potentially trading if anybody is interested. There we go. This looks like a royal dock area if I've ever seen one. It's a little rustic at the moment, but I like that because it gives us lots of room to improve and refine it later on. This will be perfect for our first trades with our alliances. Hello? She's here. She's over here. Her name is Jem. She's not a- Where's the treasure? This is the treasure right Where's here. Where's the treasure right you here? mentioned? Hey! My name is Jim. Where? Yeah, I am treasure. Jim. That's not treasure. What? You're not a gem. He said that there was treasure here. No, I, I'm Gems a princess. Gems of all sorts. Yeah, but that's that's just me. That's my name. I'm Princess Jem. Yeah, it's pr princess. You have carrot though. You what? There you go. That's treasure. You didn't, you didn't tell me you were a princess when we met, met the other day. Yeah, I've had a revelation since I've come to the mountain. We're going on an adventure. We came to pick you up. We need as many people as possible. Somebody's been to the end and we gotta investigate. Oh, I love adventures. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so the pirate, princess, and sausage trio set off on their adventure across the ocean. Come on down. You're in charge like last time. Feel it in your princess <laughs> aura. Let your princess sis 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 ness guide you. Yeah, I'm a great driver. 
So I said, I don't oh, yeah. know where we're going. Just go straight. <laughs> oh, sure. Not yeah. into the wall. Okay. Go left, left, straight, straight. Princesses don't make good boat captains. To adventure. It's this way. No, it's this. No, it's this. Hold on. It's this. We gotta go back this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're fine now. Nice. Oh, there's a dolphin. You guys see that? Oh, pretty. Yeah, dolphins. I love dolphins. Yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah, they also taste great. What? Eventually, we got to Flip's weird little goblin cave where he had something really important to say. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Goblin Cave Empire. Oh my Went out Ooh. around a few of you and uh, I found the end stronghold. Um, it's <gasps> open. The portal's been opened. And what? I went to a bunch of you and y'all said you didn't go. Does anybody know what happened there? I didn't know. Uh, what? No, well, no, I didn't no. Go. They... Oh. Okay, Nobody? well... Um, do you want to go See? investigate with me? See what the heck's going on in there? Figure this out? I think we better had, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's do oh, it. Very grand mine entrance, Ooh, I swear. Secret Look, passage. Everyone be careful. Secret mines. Very cool. Okay. What's inside me? Oh, you've got lava. Through the woods. So we wandered our way through Flip's maze of goblin mines until we came to a portal that was already opened. And since none of us had opened it, we decided we would jump through and see what happened. To our surprise, there was no dragon. Isn't there supposed to be a dragon oh. here? I was waiting for a fight. Wait, where's... Where's... Did nobody came here? Wait. Nobody came oh, out here. No. Is the portal out no. open? There's Enderman in boats. There's the got to have been somebody what? here. What? The egg's it's gone. Open already? Okay, well, uh, sorry for dragging y'all in here to find out there's <laughs> nothing going on, but. Oh, I'm so glad. That's a good what, thing. What, yeah. what do we nice get for this? Meeting y'all. Yeah. Let's go home. It's fine. Yeah, everything's fine, everybody. We're doing great. Oh. That was weird. And so, it would seem, the empires are living in a world where there is no dragon. What is going to come of this is still a mystery, but for now, all we know is it is time to get set up in our empires. My empire is off to a very good start, if I do say so myself. Between our simple little starter house, our animal pen and bee area, combined with the path down to the dock, I feel we are definitely set up for success. And I'm excited to be the princess of the empire's SMP. For now, though, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.